Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Code 43 and I'm here to give you the mid-month of October karma reading for the zodiac sign of Gemini. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, I'm sending you guys so much hope, love, luck, joy, happiness, all the good stuff. Welcome, welcome back, my lovely Geminis. You guys rock. You're awesome and amazing. If you are a cross watcher, I'm sending you prayers, healing, and blessings to you and to all of us here. Please remember that when it comes to any and all kinds of readings, that is important that you guys focus on the energy. It's important that you guys focus on the messages and how it resonates with you in your life. Do not ever force a reading. What's for you will be for you. What is not, please share it with somebody else, okay? If you guys just want to be here just for the entertainment or just to learn something, that's awesome too, okay? But never ever force a reading. Always first and foremost, go to Heavenly Father God. Jesus Christ, your angels, healers, helpers, your guides, your family, friends, and loved ones, your ancestors, all the people that love you, they got you, they paved the way for you, they're smiling down on you, hugging you, loving you, sending you prayers, healing, and blessings your way. Believe in God, trust, and believe in yourself, and always do what's best for you and your families at all times. Please continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment. You guys are so supportive. Thank you guys for watching my channel and supporting Please continue to do so. Always check the description box. I have information about the services that I offer. Email me if you need to. I have information about like grants. That's free money, scholarships, programs to get benefits and discounts and different things. Check it out. If it's not for your city, state, or area, call these people. Look it up. Find out what's similar that they may have in your country or your area, your, your state, or wherever you are so that you guys can get some blessings, okay? Focus on blessings at all times. Bless yourself. I will always help you guys to the best of my ability. And things do change down there. I'm adding things all the time. And, you know, I'm going to continue to do so. So please get in where you fit in. Do not unbless yourself. Be open to receiving rewards, blessings, and good things. More will come. Okay. Gemini, I have cleansed the energy in this reading. It's ready to go. I'm noticing that a lot of people do not want these readings out. But I serve God happily. And uh, with uh, respect and happiness at all times. So we will definitely push through, okay? These readings get very deep. This is the mid-month karma readings. If the subject matter is too sensitive, please feel free to click off. I do it for preparation. It gives you a heads up of what's to come or what you're going through. It could give you some confirmation. That could be healing for you. It's a reminder that they did not get away with hurting and betraying you, okay? So... Take it how it resonates as you choose. Exercise your free will at all times. Let's jump into the reading. The overall energy is, it's very heavy. It says, you suffered painful experiences because of them. This is true. I feel like somebody, and it could be more than one. It could be family. For a lot of you, it's going to it's gonna uh, be heavy when it comes to like a relationship, marriage, a union, romance. Some kind of love interest here devastated you guys. I was hearing... Um, in your pre-shuffle alone in love you guys may want to look that up it's an old song by mariah carey maybe within the first couple of albums um it's like somebody played a lot of games you know they wanted you to beg for love you had to you felt like you were begging even if you're not saying the word please it's the tactics that they use okay the games looking away making you worry this person really devastated you they broke your heart they cause you a lot of pain. Some of you guys got sick because of that. Or maybe you felt like you were, um, I, I just know you guys were down and out. It's like they made you go through unnecessary stress. That's what I'm getting. And heartache, a lot of headaches, pains, and just suffering behind them. Some of you guys could have been going through different depression. Like, I feel like different things. Depression is one of them, but different, like, mental issues because of them that maybe you didn't even know what they were. This person was low down for this. You guys did not deserve this. They definitely betrayed you. And I feel like that energy came back to haunt them. Somebody also betrayed them as well. Okay, remember, what goes around comes back around. It's going back. Continue to do your return to senders and light your, your peaceful candles and continue to talk to God and spirit. Call your angels in to intervene on your behalf. Continue to win and be successful and be blessed up. They betrayed you in the worst way. I feel like there's something they did to you was so low 
most of you don't see yourself going back or giving this person a chance. You guys have to cut this person out. I feel like, because Heartless is here next, right? So whatever they've done to you, the way they betrayed you, maybe was a, with a friend, a family ganged up on you, lied, some deep lies, evil lies. You know, no lie is good, but this wasn't like a little, you know, basic little white lie. This was something that could have cost you a job or um, had other people looking at you different because your reputation was affected. This was, um, this was heavy. This whole reading feels heavy. I feel like you guys were ghosted. You feel like this person don't have a heart. Some of you guys see them as like a demon, demonic or soulless, very cold. You know, the bedroom felt very cold. Life with them was cold. You you had moments of the highs and lows, but then when you look at the whole picture, you feel like overall it was nothing more than a game to this person. You feel like this is a sick individual, and they are sick now. They are sick. I believe um, some of them had a lot of orgies that led to like infections and diseases. Others of them, they're facing depression now. They're sad. You know, it's interesting when people don't even know they're so sick that they're stuck in a toxic cycle. Because they've been doing it and running for so long and mistreating people. They're sick for hurting you. Whatever they've done, cheated, they got out here with the wrong one. They messed around and found out God does not play about you. Okay? They're stuck with a lot of burdens. This person definitely needs help and everything ain't curable. You know, especially those um, spiritual diseases and physical ones. They're suffering. And they have a lot of burdens. The load is heavy for them. And it's going to be. They have many more responsibilities trying to, you know, get that money up to cover these medications because everything, insurance don't cover everything. Everything is not covered by insurance. They're being hit in the pocket for certain medications or certain, um, oh, I'm hearing surgeries. I'm hearing um, procedures. Oh, they're stressing. I mean, it's not fun when somebody has back-to-back -back doctor's appointments and now this hurts and that hurts. Like, they're going through it mentally and physically is what I'm hearing. They're going through some painful things now, too. The tables have truly turned. And it's because they did you wrong. They threw real love away. True love is a gift. Even if somebody don't want to be with you romantically, it's how they close things out. I feel like they just dropped you like a hot potato. Just left, ghosted, went cold, ran off with the next Jezebel or narcissist, gone. You're through with this cheater. You're through with this liar. You feel like they played a game. You feel like they had four faces, not just two faces, but four to eight, maybe even 10 faces. You feel like this person has a lot of personality, uh, split personalities or something like that. They threw real love away. You cared for them for real. You gave beyond your all. You were in it. And you know you deserve a love that's here to stay. Somebody you can feel like you can rest easy around and have peace. This person made you worry too much. They stressed you out too much. Some of you guys started getting gray hairs or seeing wrinkles that, you know, weren't there or shouldn't be there yet. This person is just a fraud. This is a dirty, low down rat fraud. They gave false offers and they give it to more than one person. It was more than just you. It was others. But when they did it to you, you guys are chosen. You guys are the healers, the people who care enough to help people without expecting you know, some kind of gift or reward or payment back. You're the earth angels, the chosen ones. This person was a fraud. They gave a false offer and they kept giving you false promises, false offers. It, it was fake. They're fake. Their whole life is, is a fraud. This trickster is reaping what they have sown. Spirit is dropping that bad karma and consequences tenfold. Stacks on stacks on stacks. They keep getting hit with one thing after the next, after the next. The person who would have been there to feed them, you, you're gone. The person who would have been there to love them and encourage them, go to their appointments with them, was you. Was. You. Was. You guys are done with that. You see them now as very coward-like, cowardly, insecure. This is why they played these mind games and these disappearing acts, they couldn't hold conversations and they always had that evil grin and smirk. They had those lion eyes, fast and slick with the tongue. I felt like this person was really good at um, finessing a situation, 
love bombing, the gaslighting. They let their sexual desires get the best of them. This person had no sexual discipline. They don't. They ghosted you, left you like it was nothing. I was hearing All By Myself too by Celine Dion. I feel like um, they left you by yourself. They left you to be alone in love. They sold you this this fantasy of, of a beautiful life with them when really they're just a narcissist. They're lost. Dark soul. But I feel like they're going through the dark night of the soul now. See, they, they kept messing around until they crossed you and God is, <laughs> is not playing about you. You guys are divinely protected. You guys went through these love lessons and these lessons with families so that you can turn your pain into power and help people build your businesses, help people by um, sharing your story, start your podcast. You don't have to use these people's names of those who hurt you, you guys can insert another name or you don't have to use a name at all, but your experience will help heal a nation. It will help heal other people, thus healing also the inner child inside. It will help you to heal too, to get it out. Some of you guys need to start your own channels if you haven't or enhance your channels or businesses to add on to it. Write your books, start podcasts, tell your stories, journal. You need to get it out even if it's just on paper. Get your story out. It will help give you like more relief okay it's like a um releasing of that pain okay it's it will be therapeutic and healing for you you're divinely protected your angels are around you call them in they're helping you this tells me being divinely protected means there's so much more this person was going to do to you they're going to hurt you further for as long as they could they they didn't plan to ever stop this is why god dropped them them towers and make sure that you've seen just how jealous and evil and bad they really are so that you can end this and stop. This is why, you know, people going ghost, remember, that that's really God's protection. They're letting you know they're not good enough to give you a conversation. They're going ghost because they, not you, they are not good enough for you. This is how you have to read with that third eye chakra and use your intellect to read behind the lines. You are a real love. You would have always been there for this person to help them, to heal them, to love them, to hold them and give them love and affection and attention from the heart and soul space. Now they're with idiots like them. They're with people who don't value love, don't value life. Now they're sick and now they're alone. And now they're stuck with these burdens and it keeps coming. I'm seeing somebody's mail stack up and not in a good way feel like it's a lot of bills for them or it's um you know a lot it's not good news all right so like i say it's not good to the point they don't even want to open the mail it's not good but you guys are divinely protected your angels are surrounding you they protect you from any more tragedy with this person any more heartbreak enough was enough spirit god was tired of seeing you hurt your spiritual team was tired. Your spiritual family was tired of seeing this. You got your lessons to turn your pain into power. Let it make money for you. Let it be healing for you. It's going to level you up. While they have fallen down, it's leveling you up. This person wanted to control every move you made. You know, you are free. You're a human being. Nobody owns anybody. Nobody's a slave. That's not okay. This person has no right to control you. Only God has control over your life. God and you, not them. They can't even control their own life. This is why they're so insecure. These people don't stand on morals and values. You guys have to learn to stand firm on your standards. That's something you needed to do. And truly see them for who they are. Jealousy wasn't even in your, your vocabulary for a lot of you. God gave you guys heightened awareness about who these people are. This is why the dreams flooded in. This is why so many signs and numbers and omens and synchronicities were flooding in. Spirit was waking you up. This was your spiritual awakening, okay? A lot of you need to forgive yourself. God is giving you this blessing. Forgive yourself. You didn't know any better. You didn't know these people were truly jealous of you. You had to see it. It's because you don't vibe that low. You had to not just see it, but know it and not overlook the signs and red flags because tricksters are great at feeding you compliments and showing you love and then go ghost. And then you're sitting there in the dark wondering, 
what did you do wrong? And it's nothing that you did wrong while they're out cheating with somebody else, feeding them the same story, coming up with a new story, new twists and turns to get, you know, what they can get out of them and whatever they can get out of you. And then they come back when that supply is used up and catching on, come back to you, run to the next supply. Once they start to catch on, run back to the next. And everybody is just heartbroken in the dark, wondering what the heck just happened. We were doing so good. And then all of a sudden you're blocked or you don't hear from them or they haven't, you know, checked in or they're not planning dates anymore. They're not calling anymore. But when you guys get together, it's so happy go lucky. And it feels amazing. They were turning you into like a trauma bond. Forgive yourself for what you didn't know. That you know better. You love yourself more. You stand by your stand your standards and your boundaries. You do better. You live better. Free yourself. You guys have good news coming in. Good things are coming to you. Expect good news. While they're getting bad news, you guys need to check the email and everything and look into any kind of programs or blessings. Look into blessings every day that you can and receive them. Fill out applications, sign things, look into programs, open up your mail, sign it. Find out what's going on out here. There's a lot of good stuff happening too. Focus on the good and good will come in. You guys will get a good phone call. Check your um, snail mail, your email. Some kind of good news is coming your way. It's going to put a big smile on your face and you deserve it. You deserve good things. You deserve real love. You deserve a peace of mind. You deserve to be stress-free. You deserve happiness. You do deserve it and it will come. Spirit wants you guys to create. It says draw, doodle, write, build, tinker, putter. Make something inspiring. Stay in touch with your spirit. Be the magic. Your affirmation is I am inspired to keep creating. You are creative. They couldn't take their, your gifts from you. Some gifts God didn't let them see until you had to remove them so that they didn't destroy them because they would have easily disrespected you and broke different things that you may. And some of them may have already done that. It's you're at a point of no more. Of course, you guys get free will, but this person's not well. Do what's best for your safety, your sanity, your peace, your health, your livelihood, your families, your kids. Spirit wants you guys to take action. Create a plan for getting things done and then schedule them. Make a list. Fill your calendar. It's going to get busy. You guys will be booked and busy. Stay focused on a project is what I'm hearing. Put pride and love into it and it's going to flourish and do well. It's going to be successful and make you really happy. You deserve this. This is the time. This is your time to win. Okay, Gemini. Your affirmation is I take inspired action to reach my goals. Absolutely. You have better things ahead. Focus on blessings because... They're coming in. You're creative. You're going to turn everything that they did negative to you into power creativity. That's going to make yourself smile and others smile. You're going to stand in your power. Stand tall. Stand firm. Stand solid. You are not broken. You're going to be healed. You're going to be healthy. You're going to be well. You're going to be successful. You're amazing. God has wonderful things for you. Be inspired and know that you guys will inspire others. Focus on good energy and vibe with your real tribe. These people that can't go with you are not your tribe. They don't deserve you. They don't deserve to be with you. They don't deserve your blessings. None of that. There's better for you. Much better. Focus on winning. Okay, Gemini, this has been your reading for the mid-month of October, your 2023. I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you, as many of you as humanly possible. I'm seeing all so much luck, love, success, prosperity, liberation, and of course, abundance. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye, Gemini.